Hey subscribers, thank you so much for being with me on this journey. Tony Gapastone here. A lot of you who are watching this video and on my subscribers list have been with me for years since I did my first short film, which was called Tester, and I did 1440 and Counting, and then Neighbor, and then Selfie, and now I'm venturing off into a whole bunch of new stuff. Uh, this video is going to be about telling you the name of the podcast, which I'm starting, which is going to launch on June 1st, so stay tuned for that. But first, rewind, I am... Ah, starting a new adventure. Many of you might know if you follow along all the social media stuff. I am leaving my job of 20 years to start a new chapter of my story, of my life, really. Uh, my wife and kids and I are actually moving from the house. We thought we might move down south to the a LA area because that's where all the stuff happens, the industry, mamma jamma. But it looks like we're going to stay in the Bay Area for a while. And here's why. Brave Maker is launching. Brave Maker was a total surprise to me. Brave Maker was something that was maybe deep down in my heart as a dream. And Brave Maker was risen up from some affirming voices in my life. And really, God. I, there's no other way that I could describe this whole story than God is saying, start Brave Maker. What is Brave Maker? Brave Maker is a 501c3 nonprofit. Our IRS paperwork is already launched. We're incorporated. It's going to be a whole new adventure of trying to empower artists to make and create their life changing media while I do that as well. I want to make provocative, life changing media. That's what my life is about. And I'm finally stepping into that and embracing it. And I want to help other people do it too. So you filmmakers, you writers, you actors, you directors, you dancers, you photographers, you designers, you choreographers, whatever it is that you create and make, I want to help you do it. That's what Brave Maker is all about. Check out bravemaker.com for more info if you want to support and get on the, uh, the train with me to change lives through media. Awesome. I welcome that. But here's what you were waiting for. The new podcast that I'm starting, again, I say new because I've done a couple podcast iterations in the past, but this is one that I'm going to have a lot more freedom to talk about God and life and film and media and everything strange and everything sacred in one spot. And here's, here's what it's called. Thanks to my mother-in-law. That's a drum roll. This right here. It's a drum roll. The podcast name, Holy Cannoli. That's right, Holy Cannoli will launch on June 1st through iTunes and Stitcher. Why Holy Cannoli? Why not? First of all, I love cannoli, my favorite dessert ever. And the word holy and the word cannoli put together is fun, sounds fun, like holy cannoli, what? But holy, other, separate, divine, God, and cannoli. Random, amazing, good Italian dessert. Those two things together is what I wanna talk about. How do we find the sacred, beautiful things of life in the most strangest ways possible. We don't always experience God and the divine in a building on a Sunday. We experience him just as deeply and just as much in every other way in the world. And that's what I want to talk about. So that's what Holy Cannoli is going to be about. Interviews, stories, me talking, <laughs> and hearing about the sacred and the strange in everyday life. Hey, thanks for subscribing, you guys. Follow my social media stuff for more info. If you want to hear more about my filmmaking journey, Huge big news, I got uh, one of our first investors to help us launch the 33 Days film, which is the true story of Roger Huang and the Tenderloin of San Francisco. You can check that out at 33daysfilm.com. If you want to invest in that film, let me know. Uh, if you want to support Brave Maker, let me know. If you want to just say hi, you can poke me or wave to me on social media. Is that the thing? Okay, thanks. Okay, that's it. God loves you. Thanks for subscribing. Keep the holy cannoli under wraps, because you're the first to know.